Hello, this is Dr. Shin J. Kim from Worijul Spine Hospital. Today, I will be explaining ligamentum flavum ossification. In simple terms, ligamentum flavum ossification refers to the calcification of the ligamentum flavum located behind the nerves in the thoracic spine. This ligamentum flavum becomes stiff, akin to bone ossification. There is a commonly known disease called stenosis. Stenosis is defined as the thickening of the ligamentum flavum, which presses on the nerve. This form is very different in the thoracic and lumbar spines. In the case of the thoracic spine, there is not much twisting in either angle or movement. It has more stability in its movement than the lumbar spine because it is surrounded by the rib joints. In the case of the lumbar spine, it supports the heavy weight of the upper body, but it is more unstable and bears a lot of weight because it lacks a supporting structure like the rib cage. Therefore, for these reasons, degeneration of the ligamentum flavum differs slightly between the lumbar and thoracic spines. In the lumbar spine, the ligamentum flavum thickens and presses on the nerve, also called stenosis. In the thoracic spine, instead of thickening, it hardens like a rock. Ultimately, whether it's ligamentum flavum ossification or stenosis, both conditions compress nerves passing through these restricted tunnels, leading to neurological symptoms such as leg pain or paralysis. Ligamentum flavum ossification can result in severe leg pain and, in extreme cases, paralysis. Distinguishing symptoms that appear in the soul follow thereafter. Many patients describe this gritty, rough feeling as akin to stepping on gravel or being pricked with needles in the soul. This is because when the ligamentum flavum ossifies, it becomes hard and presses firmly on the nerve from behind, affecting the soul more significantly. The definitive way to distinguish between stenosis and ligamentum flavum ossification is through an MRI scan. In reality, it's somewhat challenging to accurately determine solely based on clinical symptoms whether the cause is ossification or stenosis. And that is why radiological examination is important. As I mentioned last time, CTL scans are particularly useful in these cases. When patients experience leg pain, we generally conduct examinations on the lumbar spine rather than the thoracic spine. By conducting a lumbar examination, we can simultaneously check for lesions in the thoracic region, ensuring we do not overlook a diagnosis of ligamentum flavum ossification. If nerve compression is not severe for both ligamentum flavum ossification and stenosis, we initially begin treatment with injection therapy to reduce nerve swelling and inflammation or with medication. If the ligament has thickened significantly and is tightly compressing the nerve, there are limitations to conservative treatments. In such cases, the bone-like ligament that is compressing the nerve is ground and thinned out. This process allows the nerve to pass through the spinal canal without compression, improving these symptoms. At Wurijul Spine Hospital, we can safely remove thickened ligaments using a diamond drill. As mentioned earlier, unlike the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine is relatively stable because it is surrounded by the rib cage. If we accurately remove only the ossified ligamentum flavum without extensively grinding the bone, there is no need for additional fixation surgeries, such as screw fixation. Based on the MRI scan, although ligamentum flavum ossification may seem to compress the nerves severely, surgical treatment is not necessarily difficult. However, people mostly miss the opportunity to get diagnosed. As mentioned earlier, through examinations such as CT scans and MRI scans, accurate diagnoses can be made, thus preventing mistakes due to oversight and ensuring effective treatment.